Hello, this is Sims Model Summer on Patreon and S. Caldwell HU on Mod the Sims and on Sims 4 Studio. Uh, today I'm going to give you the first look at how you can make mods for The Sims 4. Really simple. We're going to go step by step through the process. To get started, there's going to be three important programs that you're going to be um, using throughout this process. You're going to need Sims 4 Studio and you're going to need the open beta version and depending on if you're using a PC or Mac you can choose the appropriate version and you'll want to go ahead and install it using either the installer or the zip the installer is the easiest the second program you're going to need is notepad plus plus once you go to their downloads page, you'll see there's a list of releases. You can go ahead and download the most recent release. There's a 32-bit version and a 64-bit version. So pick the one that's right for your computer. And the third program you're going to need is the Mod Constructor by Zerbu. The most recent version is version 4. And you're going, going to want to download this to your computer. And then once you download it, you can open it. Okay, so the first tutorial we're going to go over is how to make simple changes to existing in-game resources. For example, if you want to change an interaction that's already in the game, you can do so by going to Sims 4 Studio and then at the top you'll see there's the menu that says tools once you click on tools you can click on extract tuning once the process is done you'll see this long list now this is where you can search so for example if you wanted to change an interaction that's in the game you can click interaction and then you want to scroll down until you see interactions. You'll see there's a long list of choices. So the first thing we're going to do is the easiest thing to do. The easiest thing to do is to take an interaction that is not autonomous and make it autonomous. For example, proposals. Let's say you wanted to go ahead and make it so that someone can autonomously propose to another sim. If you click propose, you'll see there's a list of choices and the very first one is the action that's used for propose. Now there's two ways to go about this. You can either click on this and export it and then you can pick where you want this to be exported on your computer. And then you can open it in Notepad++. Now, if you've never done this before, you can right-click on it, click Open With, choose another app, and then click Always Open XML Files, Notepad++. This is, of course, after you've installed it on your computer. Okay, and then it will open. So here we have our proposal interaction. Now you'll see, if we scroll down a little bit, it says allow autonomous false. Now if we had a lot of things above this and we want to see it the fastest, we would click search, find, and type in autonomous. Find all in current document. Okay, and then you can just quickly click and it will take you to all of the places. To change this to be autonomous, you just simply click here where it says false, change it to true, and then click save. Okay, now that you've done that, you want to make a package. Now, I mentioned before there's two ways to do this. I'm going to show you this way first, and then I'm going to show you the second way. Okay, so if we go back to our tools menu right here at the top again, if you scroll down to create empty package, you can then create a package 
on your computer. Now you can name this whatever you'd like. I suggest not using any spaces. With The Sims 4, with packages, the more spaces you have in your mods, the more lag it can cause. So I suggest using an underscore or just having everything together with no spaces. Once you click save, your package is created. You can now click here at the bottom, batch import. And then you want to locate on your computer where you saved the file or interaction that you edited. And you'll see it's here. And we can click save. Okay. Once you've done that, you can save it to your mods folder. And then click save. And it will be saved. And once you open up your game, now proposals will be autonomous. Now that's the first way to do it. There's a second way that's even easier. So I'm going to click File, Main, Menu. And once again, this time I'm going to go to Tools and I'm going to click Create Empty Package. Okay, once again, I'm going to choose on my computer to create the file. I'll name this one version 2. Okay, once again, it's empty. Now I can click Tools, Extract Tuning. And then once again, let it process and type in propose. I can click on the interaction and click add to current package. Okay, this is a, a faster way to do, of doing this. And then you can just simply on the right, click where it says false, change it to true and save. Now, the reason I showed you the notepad version first is because a lot of these interactions will have a long list and notepad allows you to quickly search and find things as opposed to just having to scroll down in this case we were lucky that the feature we wanted to change is at the top but as you get more advanced it's modding and you notice there's more things you want to change it's a little bit easier to just use notepad and search speaking of notepad there is also going to be additional features that are going to be very helpful to you going forward in your modding process. At the very top of Notepad++, there's a link or a menu called Plugins. Once you click on Plugins, you'll see there's a list of plugins that are installed and you can install new ones. Now there's a few that I'm going to mention that I highly suggest that you download. If you click Plugins Admin right here, you'll see a list of available plugins. The first one I'm going to suggest that you download is called Compare. Now I already have Compare installed, so it's not appearing unavailable, it's appearing for me under Installed. But for you, if this is your first time, it's going to say it on this list, and you just click it. So for example, if you click this, and then you click Install on the right. Again, you want to do this for Compare. You also will want to install a plugin called Toolbucket. I highly, highly, highly suggest using Toolbucket. Toolbucket allows you to uh, replace multiple lines within multiple um, uh, tuning files or interaction files at the same time, or XML files in this case. So if you, for example, went to extract tuning, And this time you wanted to extract multiple interactions or files at the same time and edit them. Let's just pick randomly the Butler ones, for example. And you clicked export and you export it to your computer. You can then select all of these together, right click and click edit and open them. Then when you go to plugins and you have your tool bucket, you can click multiple find and replace. Now this is going to let you replace a lot of different things at the same time. So let's say we scroll down and let's, you see here we have test globals. Test globals are global um, tests for the entirety of this interaction that we're looking at. So let's say you wanted to take this 
for butlers and you wanted to make it so that globally butlers have to be young adults through elders. You would take that and put it in replace and you will put the original text here. Okay, so again, I'm sorry I didn't reverse the first time. You want to make sure your original text goes here in find, and then you want to make sure your edited version goes here in the replace field. When you click replace all, you'll see the matches. So now this is going ahead and done this in every single file we had open. And this is going to be a big time saver for you while you're modding if you have multiple things that you want to change at a time. Okay, and then you can just click save all here and then close all after it's done. And you'll know it's done when it's gray. Okay, so that's the first lesson. And the next lesson, we're going to look at how to use Mod Constructor to start making your first mod.